lot of people, that morning cup of coffee is more than just a wake-up call or a way to wake up in the afternoon. It is a lifestyle, and some people are willing to pay a lot of money for it. Earlier this year, you may remember, I introduced you to a $75 a cup coffee being served at Clatch Coffee in San Francisco. Now, Todd Goldsworthy is with Clatch Coffee, uh, here with the newest version, and this one happens to go for $100 a cup. We're going to do a little taste test to see if we yeah. can tell the difference. Yes. Yeah, so we brought for you today the uh, famous, we call it the 1029, because it's sold for $1,029 a pound uh, as a green raw product in auction uh, earlier this year. Uh, and so we have that here, and it's being sold for 100 bucks a cup. Before we get to the taste test, yeah. what makes this cup of coffee so special? Oh, so much. When you taste it, I think you're going to notice, and you're going to be able to tell everyone else what's so special about it, first off. Um, but, I mean, coffee in general has been going through such a transformation, and you have your everyday coffee, just like you have your everyday glass of wine. Today's Wine Wednesday. You're probably going to pull off a $20 bottle of wine, pour, open it up tonight, and, and enjoy that. But on that special occasion, you pull off that $100, $150 bottle of wine, $200 bottle of wine, and you pour that. for that special, And that's what this coffee is. Well, it's that special occasion. I mean, this estate is famous for really high-end coffee. Yes. People who are coffee connoisseurs, can they tell the different notes and the nuances in it? Absolutely, and I think you will too. This, this coffee uh, it is just reminiscent of candied watermelon, uh, candied apricots. Oh. Lots, Todd, of, come lots, on, come on. Lots of fruit, Let's fruit, not oversell it, Todd. Come on, come on. It really does. It's, yes, um, and unicorns and rainbows will be exactly. flying, I know.